Today I'm going to be using up the last few pieces of Scotty embeds, big enough for a one pound batch. And with the amazing extruder that Renee gave me, I extruded out some little stars. The fragrance we're using is lavender chamomile. If I were to call a fragrance calming, that would be this. This is a gentle, calming fragrance. Lavender and chamomile. What could be more calming than that? We're gonna see how it behaves. My first time using this one. Blue sky mica, electric violet mica, parrot mica. Just a few little soap shreds. These soap shreds are from my Boris soap. And activated charcoal is gonna be involved because this is gonna be another nighttime scene. Kind of like my mouse at midnight soap. I've never tried the ombre technique. So that's what I'm going to go for today. Hopefully my fragrance oil is suitable for an ombre. We'll try to finish our jar of lilac infused olive oil. And I'm going to let this jar sit upside down for a while. Get as much out as we can. And here is our lilac infused olive oil. Here's our fragrance, which is lavender and chamomile. Our lye water. Here we got our activated charcoal. Got some purple and some blue. And our green. And we're going to wait a little bit for this to set up enough to hold the Scotty in bed. I sprayed it with rubbing alcohol, which made a little skin on it. I hope enough time has passed. I have a feeling enough time has not passed, but I'm going to see what happens. But I think that's going to be okay. This fragrance is really well behaved. Look at that. First of all, I'm going to get the Scotty covered with blue. We're going to add a little bit of purple here. Okay, we got our Scotty covered. We're gonna do a spoonful. Well, not a quite spoonful, just some. And a little bit more purple. Another spoonful of black here. And a little bit more purple. start adding some stars. We'll put a star in the blue sky over there. Add a star here, here. Do another spoonful of black and some purple. Like my stars might be moving, huh? Add another star since I think my other one moved. A star here. And way over here. Some more black. Some more purple. Some more stars seem to all be getting shoved over, which makes sense. That's how this pour works. Oh, 
I'm gonna add the rest of the purple in here and we're gonna try to fit all the soap in this mold. We'll let that set up just a little bit so I can get it all in the square portion of the mold because it's still kind of kind of fluid. So we'll wait just a little bit here. I think we'll just do a quick spoon thing. I think we'll add a few sugar pearls. Pretty up the top a little bit. Then I think this top needs a little bit of glitter. We're gonna do silver rainbow. This is one of my favorite glitters. It's amazingly pretty. All right, see you when this is ready. The next day. Boy, am I curious about this one. Oh, here it comes. I might be unmolding it a few hours too early but that's just what happens sometimes, doesn't it? Sometimes, I think I'll let it sit out for just uh, an hour before I cut it, maybe. Pretty. I'm excited about this because, I mean, I don't know how well my, my design is going to turn out, but I'm still really excited. sample cut here. Oh my goodness. I love it. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I missed all the sugar pearls. Love it when that happens. Oh, look at it. Don't you love it? You can see my stars from pouring. They just kind of shoved over. That's okay though. Looks like some sort of constellation. And you can see, as usual, I need to fill in the area in his neck. Okay, we're gonna hit no sugar pearls. There's some nice big bars. Well, it looks like we got an in-between Scotty, darn it. You know, like right where they're, they were attached to each other. Here we go. There went some sugar pearls. Three of them. Well, now that's a perfect one. No air pocket in his neck. That's perfect. And then we're gonna slice this one in half because it is too big to be a sample. Oh, very nice. Wonderful soap, love it. I am so happy with how these soaps turned out side stamp because I like it. I looked up later because once again I still haven't learned to look up information on the fragrance before making the soap. But after making the soap there is 0.15% vanillin so I'm not actually too worried about any kind of discoloration. This is only a day later because I don't feel like waiting a week to make this video. I like that Nurture Soap organizes the fragrance notes into top, medium, and base or bottom notes. They say top notes of lemon and bergamot, middle notes of lavender and chamomile, and base notes of musk and sugar. <sighs> this is a good, calming, soothing fragrance. It's a light scent, it's not gonna give you a headache, Thank you for sticking around and watching another one of my one pound batches of soap. It's really fun to make one pound batches because you're not using up a whole bunch of ingredients. It's fun unmolding the cute little brick of soap and cutting it and you get three hearty bars. These are big, big bars of soap that come out of that one pound. 
mold. And there's nothing wrong with cutting your soap in half. Actually, I would recommend it if you don't want this big old bar in your hand when you're trying to clean, just cut it in half. Cut it like right in front of the Scotty. Don't cut the Scotty in half. You don't want to do that. It's a, it's a Scotty. One of my rats is making trouble, Jack. He's my little troublemaker, but he's cute as a button. Do you know why we say cute as a button? You probably don't say button, you say button. You say cute as a button because buttons are small. A lot of times on children's clothing, buttons are actually cute. They're like shaped like something. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time for this incredible soap you're just not gonna believe. We'll find out what it is here soon.